Welcome to our Qubit how-to video series. Qubit is the natural estimator solution for a wide range of construction professionals from quantity surveyors and commercial builders through to residential builders and subcontractors. In this video, I will be taking off some vertical areas, creating raked surfaces and showing you how to quickly and accurately get the most out of Qubit. The ability to create raked and multi-height walls will easily translate from brickwork and blockwork through to plaster, cladding, painting and even wallpaper. The principles are the same, only the material is different. Let's get started. We'll start with a simple solid brick wall. In my job, I have inserted and scaled a very simple detached garage plan. For this demonstration, I have listed the external timber frame brick wall twice but I've used a different result type on each item. First we have vertical area and secondly vertical area less openings. This is to show the difference in our calculations when we take off doors and windows. In your job choose the result that will best reflect the measurement you are looking to achieve. You can change result types after you've taken off if you have made a mistake. By holding down control on my keyboard I can select both line items at once. I'll use the rectangle tool for this demonstration and in the new task pane I will set my description to external wall and the height to 2400. By clicking on opposite corners my shape is instantly created and the quantities are immediately calculated and returned to my estimate sheet. Now I'll add my side access door and my garage door. Watch the quantity of this line item change as I add them. Cubit will automatically deduct them from this quantity because we are using the vertical area less openings result type. Cubit will also ask me to count the doors in a new trade heading. I simply click create heading. My quantity has immediately changed and my door has been counted as well. I can now add my access door which will be counted and deducted at the same time. Now I'll take off our internal wall using the polyline tool. I select the line item, I select my tool, changing our description to internal wall, I can simply click point to point right clicking to finish my shape and that quantity will be added to the line that I have selected. Once again when I place a door on this line it will automatically reflect the deduction. If you need to see the value of your deductions you can find them in your calc sheet down below listing the total taken off area, your deductions and then your subtotal. Now let's look at creating a raked wall. In this plan I'm going to assume that the main wall height is 3.2 meters and that the front living room wall is 4 meters high at both ends tapering down to 3.2 at these corners. The first thing we'll need to do is take off the perimeter. I choose the line that I'd wish to take off. I have my polyline selected. If I wish to change the format of my line, I can do so here. And we'll change the descriptions for our external perimeter and our wall height of 3200 millimeters. To ensure that our shape completes point to point, I'll select closed polyline. Then I can simply take off the perimeter corner to corner.
If you happen to make a mistake, simply press Ctrl Z on your keyboard to go back to the last node you've created. I will quickly create my curved wall. and right click to finish the shape. After the shape has been created, I can adjust individual wall heights by selecting the shape in the calculation sheet and amending the details in the details pane. Cubit lists each line individually and I can adjust and the start and end height of each line. As we see here, line 1 will start at 3200, but we will end it at 4000. Line 2 will start and end at 4000, and line 3 will start at 4000 and end at 3200. My quantities have automatically been updated every time I have entered a new height. In 3D mode, we will see a representation of that data. Push F12 to quickly turn on 3D mode. I can also alter the material factor for bricks and create a double bricked wall. Again, I locate the details of the shape I wish to change. And on the right hand side, I can alter the details per line by changing our factor to a factor of two. I immediately double the quantities on those selected lines. As you can see, Manipulating your takeoff is simple and easy with Qubit. So that's how we take off vertical surfaces. As I said earlier, these techniques work for a variety of different vertical areas, from brickwork and blockwork, to plaster, cladding, paint, and even wallpaper. Feel free to check out our other how-to videos which you can find online. Remember, we're here to help. You can contact our support team or visit our knowledge base online for more information to help you use Qubit. Happy estimating.